definitely. Ready? Yes. This is Rock Jamin is with Laureen Lamou. How you doing, girl? I'm doing great. Thank you, Ramsey. It's it's a it's it's a beautiful night in in Finland. It's uh, it's nine thirty p.m. here. So, but it's this it's this uh, clear because in Finland, you know, you know the deal that the summer during the summertime, the summer doesn't go down. <laughs> it's nine thirty p.m. for you. It's two thirty three. It's two thirty three. <laughs> I know. Brighter. It's brighter than my eyes could possibly see. What is going on? Yeah, you you need to visit Finland because this is the the lowest that the sun goes during the summertime. Dude, that's beautiful. That's actually beautiful with the trees. Yeah, it is beautiful. It for those who want to sleep, that it is sometimes a bit of a, a bit of a struggle because of the light. But otherwise, it's cool because you know. You don't know what day, what time of day it is. <laughs> oh God, yeah. So like at three o'clock, you're like, okay, I'm gonna go to bed. Can you turn off the sun? Yeah, exactly. Turn, <laughs> turn off the sun. I'm sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to sleep. Yeah, exactly. That's What's that's exactly on? what happens. Is it all dark one time? Sometimes. Yeah, during the winter, the the sun <clears throat> doesn't. Uh, it's on its uh, winter sleep so it doesn't come up so it, it it always only gets a little bit of from the black it becomes a little bit of uh, gray the sky and then it goes back to black we have like hour of daylight and it's this grayish sky so we have like controversial nature in Finland like during the summer months the sun is up all the time and during the winter it doesn't bother to come up at all <laughs> That's why we call it mortar, like the real mortar. <laughs> so it can't be scary at nighttime, eh? So it's like, yeah, yeah, you just like one o'clock in the morning, clear as day. Oh, oh, hi, neighbor. Yep. Sun up. You trying to sleep? I can't either. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens. So. Yeah. Congratulations on your new album, The Reckoning. Thank you so much songs on this album they really rock thank you and you that's cool to hear her, what, sorry that's that's good to hear that's yeah great they're to hear. yeah they're actually tearing up the charts so that's really whoa good. that's great yeah so that has to feel pretty awesome yeah it does it does i, I have no idea what charts you're talking about but, but that that is but it's that literally great thing blowing up the shards it's tearing them up really yeah. yeah i didn't know that yeah that's so. that's great to hear but yeah that feels really good that's like yeah. the best best possible thing that could happen with with putting on you know putting out new music you wish it to find its audience and and i'm really grateful that for that you you brought me news thank you yeah. you're welcome any more news, my dear? Any more yeah. news? <laughs> yeah. All right. Tell, tell, have... the, tell them to me. <laughs> I don't well, have that was news. That was enough good news for, for one day. <laughs> Very good news. Yeah. <laughs> I just watched the video for the title track. It was awesome. Very good job. Thank you. How did, how did you two hook up and decide to make this album? Well, we uh, we've wanted to collaborate for years now, but but we it was kind of in, on the back of our minds, uh, but we never really talked about it. But we both had the sim the similar similar uh, dream of working with one on one another, and then when the pandemic started and cleared all the calendars from from live gigs and all other life uh then uh, we saw this as a chance to do this project and then i called nora nora and asked if she wants to join join me 
on this collaboration and she instantly said yes and and uh, we started then we just started making the album so we started writing the album then with Nino Lauranne my husband uh, was a music producer and also a guitarist in, in a heavy heavy metal band Thunderstone so so we just started uh, composing and uh, writing the songs and that that did it that it went fast and, and furious when we just uh, decided to hook up with Nora because we both wanted it so much. So, so you two were not friends, but for this, but knew each other's music. Yeah, we knew each other's music and we were acquaintances. So we had been, you know, hanging out and some birthday parties or bars or so we, we had seen each other and we had collaborated in some songs. So we, we had seen in the studio, but we really didn't know each other in, on a deeper level. level. And uh, that's what happened with this album because we spent a lot of time before we started writing, writing and especially before I started writing the lyrics, we spent a lot of time together to really get to know, you know, the heart of the other one so what our dreams and, and hopes and fears are in life so because I wanted uh, the songs to also be um, like reflect, reflecting Nora's personality uh, her values in life and and everything she holds inside herself so it was it was a way to really uh, to get to know each other in a, on a deeper level how crazy is that the pandemic let you do something this awesome. Crazy Thank you. Time. Yeah, it is crazy because it's been such a it, it's been such a horrible burdening burdening thing. A lot of tragic stuff had have, have happened. We've lost our loved ones, and we've lost a lot of um, security. We've had a lot of people have had health problems of course but also financial problems due to this lockdown and uh, loss of uh, jobs and uh, and and the opportunities to do their job so it's been a very in a way because it's been a very hard time for the world it, it is beautiful that something such so positive came out of this pandemic time so it was a blessing to this project What else have you been doing to keep you busy during the lockdown? Uh, I've been, uh, well, I've been doing this and then I've also been, um, we, we composed also the, my other band, Smackbound's um, second album during this lockdown, which is going into the studio next month to record it. So we've been doing that and then I've just, uh, done a whole bunch of stuff some other collaborations with other artists like Magnus Gossel's Free Fall no, no Heart Healer sorry I came out uh, in, the, in the beginning of this year but it was made last year during the lockdown and then I have I also I am a wine importer so that has kept me really stressed out because the whole country is in lockdown so so not much wine is is has been sold during the last year. Have you written any new music with your other bands? Yeah, I've written. Like I said, we we just uh, composed, and I'm I'm writing the lyrics for Smackbound's second album at the moment. Our debut album came out last year. Twenty twenty came out uh, last June and uh, and now we where we are we are in the middle of of the recording sessions so hopefully we will we'll get the album ready for for next spring release what are the chances of this new band going on the road with smackbound and battle beast well we hope that would happen uh, that that's like the perfect dream that we would we would go on tour with these two other bands we have of course it it will be 
and would be a kind of a tough uh, show for for this for for us as singers because it's two shows in a row and and they are usually every day or every night so so we have to see if if that's possible so we can sing that much <laughs> every day but that would be a dream come true but definitely at least we hope that we will tour with this this uh Laura and Aloha also because we really want to uh, perform together on stage with Nora Are you guys playing any shows this year at all? Uh, not, we don't have uh, any shows confirmed at the moment for this year because it's we we need to with Laura and Lohuma, we need to wait and see so the pandemic is really cleared out because it's uh, uh, we have to kind of we don't have a band per se because it's a studio it's a session band that we have and some of the people will go uh, to our live gigs also from that session band but not all of them are because they are from uh, from other bands and they have you know they they are unable to do that schedule schedule wise so it takes a lot of effort for us to kind of put the production together for the live gigs so we have to be sure that the, the gigs will happen mm -hmm. so we we will wait for the pandemic to clear out and then we will start uh planning the live gigs with this collaboration if you could pick the lineup for your dream tour who would be on it oh gosh that's a difficult question a good one but difficult to answer um Mm, dream lineup there's so many people that i that i'd love to uh collaborate and play together and i've had a chance to play with a lot of people already so that 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 has been a blessing that i've i've been able to perform with a lot of my my idols um i don't know just just good people you know good hearted people that are awesome musicians any the, any any of the me beat my own smackbound uh, guys or or the guys in the, in the, playing in this loud and alohimo album or anyone uh i'd love to be able to sing with not on stage but of course i'd love to be able to sing well i my dream was always to be able to perform together with dio but that's that's kind of not possible anymore but there's like so many great voices in the world that I would like love to like, collaborate with and, and perform live. But let's wait and see for that to happen. Going forward, do you think you will make other albums if go back to focus on your own band? Uh, yeah, we we do have a there is a kind of we both feel that we it would be cool to continue the story of Laura and Elohimo and to do another album together because we had so much fun doing this album. It, it was such a great time. Uh, we were just laughing our asses off in the studio all the time. Uh, many times uh, we 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 totally uh, blew the singing because we were laughing too hard. So so that was hard, but. Uh, Let's wait and see. Let's first wait for the first one to uh, come out. And if people are able to find the album and they love it, so then that makes the situation better for the better app, the second album, of, of course. Would you play any of the songs on this album with your own band when on tour if you are not together? Um. I will not say no because never say never say never, but uh, I don't uh, think so. There's so much, you know. There's so much of back catalog with Battle Beast, and then uh, this is a slightly different kind of stuff from Smackbound. Uh, 
might happen, but uh, but because we I think we we will start the tour with Smackbound once the second album is out. So I think we're gonna at least for now play the two first albums that we have with that band. What's your favorite memory from playing a show? My favorite memory mm, from my own own show, not not yeah. not watching a show. Um, I think it has. Uh, I think it was. Uh, I have to wait, wait, wait. Where was it? I have to ask. I think it was in Sweden. Where was? I have to. I have to shout out to my husband. He remembers everything. I can't. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, it was in Sweden, email that I, I, I performed with Jolene Turner. And that was one of great memories because that was that was uh, kind of came out of out of the blue. And uh, it was just amazing. So that's one of one of the best memories. And uh, and then I think um, the most of the time I remember things that, you know, have gone wrong, <laughs> like something has happened on stage. So that's that these are the points that you really remember because then you kind of wake up for the alertness of like what's happening but 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 performing with trolling turner was one of the highlights what is your worst what is my what what is your worst memory from playing show my worst memory well it's usually has to do with i don't have like horrible memories it has to usually it has to do with with technical issues that's something but there was this one huge challenge uh in the man of war festival um, um it was the evening before the show the show was supposed to be at 2 p.m and they called me the day before the evening around six or seven the evening and called like they, they their singer hasn't uh, hasn't uh, arrived to Finland and they need to get someone on stage to sing their songs this band and uh, and then I didn't know their songs at all and I had to practice the whole night through and then I just went on stage with with songs I didn't know at all and I had to I posted like I had papers with the lyrics all over the place all over the the stage to be able to sing the songs because I you know I only had the one night to to listen to the songs and trying to practice so that I remember very well that I was terrified to go on stage because it was the magic circle festival of man of war so there was a lot of people and going there so cold you know I did I so kind of without practice and without knowing the songs or the band so it was it was tough but i i made it <laughs> what is next for you next is well we're gonna wait for for um, loud and aloha must the reckoning coming out for sure it's going to be july 9th that it, it is released and then we're going to actually the same week on the same week we're going to hit the studio with Smackbound recording drums for for the next album. So that is starting now. Well, how do my followers follow you? Well, you can follow us. First of all, you can pre-order all the pre-order links for the album is in at lauranelohima.com and you find all other info also there. And then you can uh, follow us. Uh, we're basically on Facebook and Instagram most acti actively. So, so our EG both are allowed in Lohum, or you can find find us with that name. And there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff and cool stuff that we put out. So, so be sure to follow us if you want to see us live because listening to our music, watching our videos, and following us is what the booking agencies are, are checking out. And the, the more more we have followers. The, the more chances we have to doing live shows and near you also where you live so so yeah. that that is the support that you can give us
All right, go really actually go follow them, guys. Check them out. Okay, guys, understand? You guys understand? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you thank for you. being on the show, man. I hope the next time we talk is at the backstage at one of your shows, dude. Please. Yes. Thank you so much, Ramsey, for having me on your show. Thank you for being on my show. Actually, I appreciate it. Well, have a good one. Bye. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye.